Hello everyone, good evening uh, or good afternoon. Uh, I just wanted to do this video because I just wanted to shed light on uh, what's been happening with me, the improvements, what led to this, what led to me using the oxygen to breathe. And uh, so this video, I guess, I hope, I hope is, uh, is it reaches out to everybody and everybody who's been asking me what happened to you. Some people are just finding out, some people found out a month ago. But to those who are just finding out, uh, this video just really explain what's been happening to me. I feel better right now and uh, I'm actually glad I'm doing this now. Uh, because I did the first one and to be honest, I wasn't feeling good. Now I'm feeling better. So the whole thing started in uh, September when I started coughing blood. Uh, it started as a cough actually, just a regular cough. Then um, I thought it was gonna go away. Then in, more into September, it wasn't going away. By the time we got to October, I was coughing blood. So it kind of scared me, but I was like, ah, I'll go to the hospital later, you know? And I ended up going to the hospital. I just woke up one day, I'm like, I'm going in. Then, um, yeah, so I got there. They did some tests and uh, they ended up seeing that I had something, uh, lymph nodes in my, in my, in my lungs. And uh, so they said, uh, I think that's what's causing you to cough blood. So they booked in, uh, an appointment with the lung, lung doctor. And I was, that was early October. So the appointment was supposed to happen in November, early November. But at that same time, I started also coughing out. Um, I started actually not coughing. I started throwing out blood. Uh, my stomach just started like give me some abdominal pains that were crazy so the story about the abdominal pains is that i've had these pains for 11 years and all 11 years you know i've gone to the er so many times and so many times i've been sent home saying oh, it's just pains and i tried to see a lot of doctors different doctors but nobody really found out what it was so that's you know it was it got to the point where it was scary and also I was getting mad, like, how come nobody finds anything, right? But it is what it is right now. So the whole problem, we can say, started uh, 11 years ago. But we don't know for sure, right? So, but when I went to the hospital, uh, I was sent home, I believe, four times. Then I ended up saying, you know what, let me just change, your, change the ER I'm going to, went to another ER. And uh, the doctor over there is like, yeah, I saw your chart, it's 11 years of having the same problem like the stomach problem the coughing is new but the stomach has been there for 11 years so i'll push to do more tests and before you know it i was transferred uh, to another hospital and they did um, a, uh, a test uh, the endoscopy went to the endoscopy they did a they did a test so they ended up putting a camera gastroscopy they say yeah they ended up putting a camera inside of me and they found out I had, um, I had an ulcer. But when they found out that I had an ulcer, uh, the doctor said we took some biopsies to just check because it's been 11 years, so we just to check it. So they took biopsies and uh, those biopsies came out, kind came back uh, three days later and then they told me I had cancer. It was, uh, I had a big tumor in my stomach probably that's what's been causing me to throw up all these years but and yeah it was big news to swallow but I they didn't forget about the, the lungs because I did specialist appointment right but after finding out that I had cancer a, with one tumor I spoke to a surgeon he said um, yeah so basically what we would just do is uh, we'll cut you open remove uh, remove remove the tumor and life goes on. Probably you have to go on without a stomach. Uh, you know, like, okay. Like, yeah, but you might have to go through radiation or chemo first. And I was like, okay. And before that doctor left, the surgeon left, he said, um, you know what? Let me, let me do my own diagnosis. So he scheduled another, another, another session where I had to go through pretty much surgery and I had to do an x-ray of the stomach. So upon doing that, uh, he found out I had four more tumors 
right? So yeah, that was that was another big blow uh, to know that not only do I have one tumor, I have four more in the big one being uh, the biggest one being a uh, 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So it's on my chest wall right here, you know. Yeah, that's a big tumor. You know, 10 centimeters by 15. That's that's big. And the other one, I have one right here, then one here, then one close to my groin. Then, then I have another one uh, right by my trachea. Then my lungs, they have lymph nodes around them. And not to, you know, that really scared me, but I knew that getting being scared at that moment is not gonna do me any any good. You know, I took the news, shared it with my wife, shared it with my mother. It was big, big to swallow, shared it with my whole family. But I kept on from that moment I said, you know what, I have to fight for my life right now. Because that's when they told me you do have a stage four cancer. It is uh spread throughout your your abdomen. So yeah, it's uh, unfortunately it's incurable, but that doesn't mean we cannot fight. So the reason I'm really doing this video is like, um, I've gone through so much. If those who know me, I've had this stomach problem for years. You know, I'll call somebody and say, I'm sick. They'll be like, oh, your stomach again? Well, you know, that's stomach getting up. Meaning that I had, I had tumors in my stomach, so they've been growing. You know, you cannot have something that just grows 10 centimeters by 15 centimeters overnight. So it means I've pretty much been living with this for a number of years. I don't know whether it's one year, two months, or whatever. Yeah. So you know, when I did the first video, I was at the hospital, and at that point, I was I was really mad when I did the video. I'm not gonna lie. Because um, I say this could have been caught earlier on, but you know they say God's timing is always the right time. So there's a reason why they didn't catch this earlier. Maybe the earlier would have been better, but right now here we are. Uh, I stayed in the hospital for three weeks and got out uh, in November. I've been home. This is my third week being home now, and I can tell you this: I feel better than. The way I felt in October when I got admitted, I think I got admitted 20 October, and by the 23rd, I knew I had all these things happening with me. The biggest scary when all this was happening, I also ended up having um, a blood clot in my lung. That made my lung to collapse, and that alone almost took my life. But I'm still here by the grace of God, and you know. It's, we go through this as a test of faith and I can tell you that my faith has never been better since I found out what's been happening with me and it's a lot, there's a lot going on with me but as I'm doing this video, trust me, if you had seen me three weeks ago, you won't like how I looked. I am here today to say, you know what, no matter what you're going through, no matter, everybody has their own issues. So, my issue is my stomach and my lungs. They have cancer, both of them. And I'll beat this, I'll fight this, and I'll be doing more videos, but this is just to catch up people, I am okay. And I just want to thank everybody, everybody who's been sending me messages, everybody who's helped emotionally, financially, and spiritually. I just want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart, you know. It's crazy how a text message can lift me up. It's crazy how a phone call can just lift me up. And thank you so much. Thank you to the Zimbabwean community at large. Thank you to the African community. Everyone, like I say, I've gotten messages from some people I have lost contact with. And do not feel sorry or sympathize, please. What you're doing, the prayers, uh, the thoughts, they're not going unheard. 
we are all in this together i'll be doing more videos but i really 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 want to thank everybody for their support yeah so my story is simple i do have stage 4 cancer and we're gonna fight it we're gonna fight it with everything we got and you know so more videos are coming explaining what's happening but this is just a short video i wanted to share with you like what's been happening in, in my life so yeah the lungs are really giving me a hard time but everything else is getting better thank you